Okay, here's something a little interesting, guys. I think it was TK said place another flat pancake coil on top of the one that we're using and have a look at that. I believe he actually used some sort of vertical coil on his little test and showed some nice um, sawtooth waveforms. The only flat coil that I had um, is actually another Tesla by Phil our pancake coil from a previous experiment as you can see it's a lot smaller than the first one or the one that I'm using on the circuit it also has a piece of square copper plate in the centre of it uh, like I said that was just from a previous experiment uh, so I don't think that has any effect um, on what we're doing here I can't see how but anyway um, what I've got here at the moment is the ground of our scope on the centre tap of the coil and our probe is of course coming off of one leg and that's the waveform we have at the moment which is um, pretty neat and tidy and as you can see as the circuit is we get a uh, positive potential then a negative and then a positive so that's showing the pulses as to what that circuit there is doing within this circuit here in the coil but the odd thing happened when I took the um, ground and I placed it on the other input leg of the pancake coil like so and we now have that Um, so it seems, as odd as it sounds, that we now have both a positive and a negative coming out both ends of the uh, pancake coil from uh, looking at that. And you can actually see when you look close enough where the current crosses over. Now the other interesting thing is of course the pulses on this we go high and then we go low approximately 50-50% on the duty cycle whereas this is saying that both pulses are in phase with each other so um, that's quite interesting and it's um, simply the probe on one, one end of the uh, coil and the ground on the other like I said, if we put our ground there, we get the normal with a nice ring until it pulses again. And then it rings down again and pulses again in the opposite direction. But uh, yeah, when we hook the probe and the ground to both ends of the coil, that's what we have. So, um, quite interesting I thought. So that's um, all I wanted to show in this video. Now the other thing is working out the total current that's going into this system. And the way I'm thinking of doing it, I'm just going to run it past some guys, um, is to take two diodes and place them on the positive input, one in one direction, one in the other, and then of course our amp meters will go off each of the um, diodes to the positive input so that should show us the current in one direction on one meter and then the current in the other direction on the other meter and of course those two added together would be the total current draw being placed on um, our wave generator circuit and like I said this is just a uh, El Cheapo one from JCAR anyone wants to go and buy it instead of build their own that's what it is um, this switch here switches from square wave to a sawtooth wave which on the circuit is what I've removed that switch it's because uh, the sawtooth wave does nothing at all if I switch it over to that you can see we ain't got nothing. However, we do have some uh, action happening. Not 
quite sure what's happening there. I'll keep an eye on that. But uh, yeah, the sawtooth wave is not much good for this circuit, so that is why I removed it from the um, schematic. Alrighty, so uh, that's it for me. Just thought I'd show that because I found that interesting. Uh, certainly some strange things with Tesla's work indeed. Cheers.